Are you familiar with the Hanford site? I grew up in Pasco in Washington, and so I just kind of assumed that everybody was, but in case you're not, there's a large site out in eastern Washington known as Hanford. It was established in the 1940s and originally called the Hanford Engineer Works. It was directed by the Manhattan Project and had the very secret task of developing nuclear material to be used in atomic bombs. This top secret facility out in eastern Washington developed the plutonium that was used in the bomb dropped on Nagasaki at the conclusion of World War II. To create this enormous nuclear site, they had to first evict 1,500 people, then disinter about 177 people from their graves and rebury them in Prosser. Within 30 days, they had displaced over 1,000 people and claimed the sacred fishing grounds of the Wampum tribe. The Hanford site got busy developing uranium, which then they extracted plutonium from, developing this nuclear material. But they needed people to work in their facility, so they established essentially the town of Richland, which was originally segregated. Whites only in Richland, and the black and Mexican workers at the Hanford facility ended up in Pasco. That's in fact why to this day the Richland High School mascot is the Bombers. By 1964, the facility stopped developing weapons-grade nuclear material and focused on generating electricity for the Pacific Northwest. But here's where the problem began. They had to store the waste material from this nuclear production in containers. So they used these single-shell containers buried underground. Eventually, though, they discovered that that tremendous amount of nuclear waste was actually seeping out through cracks in the bottom of these containers and contaminating the groundwater, flowing down into the massive watershed of the Columbia River. The Department of Energy is aware of this problem and has gone through several steps to try and remediate it and stop it altogether, but they've had mixed reviews. When I was a kid, the big talk was about vitrification, which is essentially the process of running an electric current through nuclear waste until it turns into glass. It's still radioactive, but it can be stored more safely, more safely, and is not a threat into contaminating the groundwater. Throughout its years of operation, the Hanford site has created over 440 billion gallons of high-grade nuclear waste, at least 53 million gallons of which has seeped out of containers and contaminated some level of groundwater in the area. Of the variety of contaminants that get into the groundwater, one of the most dangerous is strontium-90, and if you're interested more in that, I urge you to read up on it because it's a terrifying contaminant that has a lot of health detriments. To this day, the Hanford site remains one of the most controversial parts of Washington's history.